Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In our previous sessions, we discussed about complete human-computer interaction subject with some HCI lab assignments. I have mentioned complete HCI playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will discuss about the next HCI lab, which is based on evaluation of interface. In this lab, we will discuss about real-life example of evaluation of products as per heuristic and Stederman's 8 golden rules. So, let's start the lab. The problem statement mentioned in your syllabus is this, that is evaluation of interface. Here, students are expected to evaluate minimum of two products or software interface using HCI evaluation techniques or rules and students need to make a report on that. So, let's start. Now, before start the particular lab assignment, you must know this thing, that is Snederman's 8 golden rules principle that supports usability, design standards and design guidelines, Norman 7 principles, Nelson 10 heuristic principles and evaluation techniques in HCI. We already discussed these all things in previous session. So you must watch all those video. Then only it's easy to understand this HCI lab. I have mentioned link of all those videos in previous description box. Next. So, in human-computer interaction, different evaluation rules have there, like Nelson's heuristic rules having there and Stederman's 8 golden rules have there. So every developer use those rules for developing a particular product. We use different real-life products, like we use social applications like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, then uh, different browsers having there, different gaming applications is there, right? So each and every application use those rules. That's why these rules are very important for developing a particular product. So we already discussed these rules with example in last session. You must watch those videos, right? So in this session, I'm using Snederman's 8 golden rules with real life examples. Next. Now see here. So here I'm taking the example of Google Pay. I think you all are familiar with the Google Pay. You all use those Google Pay in your real life right now the first rule of Snederman's is to strive for consistency right so strive for consistency means see here in this google pay application they use proper folders or proper paragraphs like people's in particular one paragraph then business having another one and promotions having the another one means consistency is there right now in business there is different zomato tata sky geo so you can paid bill through gp right so proper their logos have given, right? So it consistent their colors, consistent with fonts. And it's very easy to understand to the user what exactly action have performed, right? So this is called strive for consistency. The next rule is enable frequent user to use a short shortcuts or usability. In Google Pay, there was different options having there. Like first option is you can scan QR code. The next option is you can pay a payment or you can transfer money through bank account or you can transfer money through mobile number. Mobile number used as a primary key in Google Pay, right? So different options having given, user can use those options as per their requirement. So this is called as usability, right? Next. The third rule is offer informative feedback. When you use Google Pay application, you can transfer the money or receive the money, right? So each and every time proper feedback is given. See here in this screenshot, there is when you pay 15,000, they give the message you were paid on September 12. This is called as informative feedback. Suppose transaction is failed, they give the particular feedback that is transaction fail on September 29. So this is called as offer informative feedback. Now next rule is design dialogue to yield closer. Design dialogue means for each and every operation on Google Pay, they give a particular dialogue or particular design notations. See here, when you perform operation successful, they give here blue color or green color tick, right tick, right? So this is called as design dialogue. They notify a particular thing that is operation successful. Clear? Next. The fifth rule is offer error prevention and simple error handling. So, each and every application having a particular error prevention technique. When you pay through Google Pay application, 
so at that time or sometimes this kind of errors have available like bank server unavailable or transaction fail right so this is called as error prevention and this error prevention handling by using this kind of option like try again or change bank account change upi id right so this is called as error prevention and error handling now the next rule is permit easy reversal of action here in google pay there are different options have available like you need to start new group block the person turn off messages report spam refresh so user can use those options as per their requirement right so it easy reversal of action for performing a particular task clear next now the next rule is support internal locus of control it means that see here in google pay there will be a particular notification is there turn off messaging you can turn off the message for particular person right but when you log in the google pay first time you need to give a particular mobile number or email id right so when you perform a particular transaction it gives the notification on email id or in your mobile number right you give the notification that is sent a particular money or received money on your mobile number right so when you turn off the messages still you get the message on your mobile or on your email so this is called as supporting to other applications also and last rule is to reduce short term memory load so here in google pay when you go to all transactions at that time all transactions have shown right you can see the your transaction as per the month or as per the date right so this google pay track everything in their particular application so google pay reduce the short term memory load of the human human can't remember everything as per the date right so uh, google pay track everything and maintain all those details so this is called as reduce short term memory load so this is all about this lab assignment which is based on evaluation of interface you can also mention some real life examples in comment section thank you keep learning